These women from all walks of life are breaking stereotypes of older women, thanks to photographer Kathy Lander Goldberg. Her newest social photography and storytelling project, Wise Women, Resilient Lives, showcases the dynamic stories of women over 70. We call it social because not only are they sharing their stories with their friends, but we're putting it out into the world so other people can learn from them. I want this project to say, we are aging, but we are still living our lives exuberantly and the way we want to. Projects such as this allows people to look at, uh, in this case, women as they move into their uh, late 70s and 80s and beyond to see that people's lives are vibrant and that people continue to be active mem members of the community. I thought it would be a good way to sum up my life and to meet with other women who were my age, older, younger, and who were also still active, still themselves. It's an unfortunate reality that in our society, older women often experience ageism, a stereotype that this project aims to dispel. As people get older, right, they may experience losses, but how do they keep going? I am obsessed with the topic of healthy aging. I'm now 78, starting from about the age of 65 on. I realized I was happier than I had ever been. That was unexpected. And then what was even more surprising was that as I began to read about aging, I discovered that my experience was typical. But when I talk to people my age and I say I work with senior citizens, they immediately think of like a, a nursing home kind of a environment. And there's just so much more to it. I came here with a whole group of friends and these women dance every Friday. So it's a different time of life. It's not really the, the end of life. So what does it take to be a wise, resilient woman? So the resilience part comes in never quitting what you actually want to achieve. Now I'm embarking into a new career, which is writing. Growing old gracefully. Growing old comfortably, growing old beautifully. Those attributes have always been my desire. I hope to be gaining wisdom as I go along, <laughs> learning from other people, growing in my understanding, and I'm always exploring. So that's probably in the category of wise. Resilient because we either pick ourselves up and move ahead, or we're in a place we really don't want to be. Out of a lifetime of stories, these women chose what is most meaningful to them for their photo essays. I wrote about experiencing gratitude in my later years. I have been so grateful that I've lived this long, that I've had the opportunity to, in a way, live a second life beyond retirement. My story is all about getting the message out. In 1975, I was diagnosed manic depressive, which is called bipolar now. But what is wonderful for me and wonderful to be part of this group was to be able to get my story out again and let it go to different people because with mental illness, one person has to start a conversation. I chose to talk about how my role as an educator, which really is, intertwines everything that I've done for probably 50 years or more, but always the end goal was that what I do makes a difference. After participating, this group of women found this project more meaningful than they ever imagined. What it gives to me is at this time in my life, it's not me, but it's the message that you can live a strong and, and resilient life. It's one of the best experiences I've had in my life. My hope is that this project helps older women 
feel heard. We're not done yet. It may take us a little longer, but we're not done yet. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah.